Hey gang, Dan here, marginallyclever.com, and today I'm going to use Fusion 360, which is the app you see over there, to model a new handle for this can opener. You can see up here, this is knurled. This is all like bumpy. Let's see if we get that in focus. There we go, bumpy, right? And this piece is supposed to fit right onto here, and that knurling, it's pressed fit, so probably, you know, push really hard together until they stick this spring to make sure that there's a good amount of grip. And uh, and over time, from using this, the amount of friction inside here has worn out the hole. So I'm gonna make a design of this, and then I'm gonna send it to the 3D printer, and I guess you'll see the finished piece on Instagram if it hasn't been too long. You'll also see it at marginclever.com. The first thing I like to do is to draw it out. A measuring tool, a pen, my paper, my part. By measuring this out, we're gonna spend a lot less time in the computer screwing around and, and mucking it up. It doesn't get much more accurate than that. And from the side. Okay, so you say, but wait, that isn't dimensioned correctly. That's why we have the calipers. So we we'll check first. It is at zero when it's shut. Yay! So that's 18.9. Excellent. And this is 24.6. Good. Now I like to pick one line and measure off of that line each time. What's our radius here? 75.8. Looks to be 17 point. Um, and I can fudge these corners because I'm not too concerned about it. I don't have a curve measuring tool, which would be awesome. Okay, gang, so I've drawn these dimensions. We've got this top view, we've got the side view, and we got the cross section from point A here. And remember this 75.8 is actually a circle because these are awkward. Now, we're gonna go ahead and whip that up as quick as we can. And a bigger old rectangle here that is 17.3 on this dimension and unknown on the other. Circle please, make it tangent, give me a construction line, doesn't matter how long it is, it just matters that this to this is our measured 20. Aha, there, so it smashed that circle down to nothing which was surprising. Uh, I want an arc, I want a three point arc. If you put down a line and you didn't mean it to be a construction line, you just hit X. You can turn the construction system on and off. And the moment I select it away from that line, it thinks my default state is construction on. So I gotta watch for that. That's a tangent. That's a tangent. Oh, that's a tangent. Very nice. Very nice. And see, this is blue. You can still push this around a little bit. So that looks good to me. I will now take this and this. Oh, that is not a tangent. Look at that. This symbol is for here, not for here. So this and this are tangent. There we go. Okay. And I want to circular pattern that around the center point. And I want two of them. So now my two sides will match. I will extrude all of this. And we're gonna go up 18.25, excellent. I'm gonna draft from here and I want a negative five. Good, now I can shell that one millimeter. Great, now this circle and this edge are tangent, great. I wanna make that a little more durable, so let's try, yeah, sure. And I am gonna put a little rectangle, one of these jowls. Twenty four point six. Twenty four point six. And I can go back and fix that. Make that a new body. Extrude this and go up nine. Okay, now extrude this and go up nine as well. Because that is separate, I can pattern that around the center. Yeah, this tube is sticking out of this shape, so I'm gonna cut it along this plane. So it said extend splitting tool. So even though th this matches up almost perfectly right here, it's not gonna leave this hanging off of the other part. This is now officially a separate unit. And I can remove that, and I can remove that, not delete. Delete is totally different, don't do that. I may have to do it again down here. Yeah, it's sticking out for there. So take this part, and I cut it with this edge, and then I can remove this 
And now everything lines up smoothly and I can select everything and combine. Okay, so we've got this drafted on the outside and we've got our interior pieces. And now I think we just need a little smoothing on this edge, the fillet that I mentioned at the start. Let's say a two millimeter fillet. I'm very curious why on the ends here it gets mad. Let's go back to our original sketch. We'll fix that. Good. That's one outline now, yeah? And you see that weirdo thing that was happening in the corners is gone. That's what I want to see. I know that if I do a 0.5 like this, and then I do a section analysis, and I pull this a little bit, you can see in the corners here, it could be a little bit bigger, right? To make the wall thickness even all the way around. Nice. Okay, thanks gang. I'm gonna send that off to the printer. Check out the description below for all the links to where you can follow us, Patreon. By the way, here's all the Patreon people who helped make this possible. Thank you so much for all your help and keep telling your friends and sharing and liking and subscribing and all of that business. It means the world to me and keeps me motivated so that I can keep making great stuff for you. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time.